Hey, welcome back, Ram fans. Rams fall to the Bengals Monday Night Football 19-16. to Really strange game, a really frustrating and disappointing game. Last week, the Rams lost, and I actually felt really good about this team. Tonight, they lost, and I, and I do not have a good feeling about this team. I, I'm not, uh, you know, overly worried about the long-term future of this team, even the short-term, I think we can still be very competitive, but man, there are some things that really struck struck me as concerning. And it's really not so much about the players. It was more about Sean McVay and some of the decisions he made. I don't know what he was thinking, refusing to run the ball against a defense that has not proven it can stop the run, giving up uh, nearly 200 yards a game rushing over the first two games. And the Rams get get down to the Bengals' two-yard line on their first possession, three passes, kick the field goal. And that was the trend all day long. Uh, they finally started running the ball. They finally ran the ball inside of two minutes at the Bengals. I think it was the three-yard line with the clock running. Then they ran the ball probably the one time they shouldn't have. And another thing that really concerned me coaching-wise that really you know struck me as odd is their refusal to help out Zach Thomas at left tackle. Uh, announcers finally caught on late in the game that he was out there on an island and the Rams weren't helping him. I think all us Ram fans saw it and could not quite figure it out. The one thing I will say about this game is I'm not overly concerned about the offensive line. I think when we have our five guys out there and uh, we're not playing a uh, desperate football, heaving the ball all over the field every down, this offensive line is going to be okay. I think, uh, you know, you take Alaric Jackson off the field, hopefully he'll be back. I don't think it was serious. Uh, this offensive line will, will be okay. Uh, Sean McVay just needs to, you know, put on his thinking cap and run the ball a little bit. Uh, Kyron Williams had been so promising over these first two games, 10 carries for 38 yards against a really poor run defense. So a lot of things went against the Rams this game. It seems to be another trend, This, uh, especially the last two games, the boink off the post for the Bengals field goal, tipped passes that are getting intercepted, that reversal of Tutu's TD, which I still don't understand. I think it was one of those plays where the refs looked at it and said, his heel must have touched the ground. How could he possibly have, have pulled that off? I didn't see the field. I didn't see the heel touch the ground though, and I don't think any of us did. So a bizarre overturn, uh, really disappointing. And you know, if if they call that a touchdown as they should have, and we don't have that tip pass for the interception, and uh, a couple other things go our way, we we probably could have still pulled off a win here. But the blame really falls on our approach on offense. I was really happy with the defense. You know, the defense actually kept us in this game and, um, you know, very promising effort by our defense. What stats are worth mentioning? Well, they're not a, there's not a lot of pretty ones. The Rams were 0 for 10 on third down. They were in the red zone three times and came up empty, and then they finally got in on the final one. I mentioned Kyron Williams' production, 10 carries for 38 yards. I'm not putting it on him. I'm not putting it on the offensive line. I'm putting that on the offensive coordinators, that offensive staff. I don't know. It was really strange. Uh, Puka finished with 72 yards receiving. Higby had 71 yards receiving, and Atwell had the lone TD. Of course, Puka was shut down for a while by the Bengals' defense and then finally had the big catch on the final possession. So, hey, and remember, we had no Cooper Cup, you know, Cooper Cup. Um, He's going to change things for this offense. It's going to be a big change. We just need to get to two and three. Whatever it takes, get to two and three. That's why a win here would have been so big. If you're going to hand out game balls, kudos real early, I'd those two guys on offense, Tyler Higby and Tutu Atwell, really showed up. Uh, the defense, the entire defense, really stepped up and had a good game. I mean, Jamar Chase is 141 yards aside. Overall, this defense had a really good day. And Kobe Turner starting to show up. You watch him closely. 
I think he is a guy that's going to be, uh, he's a keeper. He's a winner. He's going to be an integral part of this defense uh, moving forward. I think he's out playing Bobby Brown at this time, at least. Uh, that's what a little birdie told me that was watching the defensive line play closely. Kobe Turner, he's, had a, he's going to be um, a solid member of this defense for a long time. And how about that interception by Witherspoon? I mean, it's it's kind of another thing that's really frustrating. You know, these other teams are getting interceptions off of tipped balls and grabbing it just off the turf. And we finally get our first turnover uh, when our cornerback makes, it looks like the play of the century on defense. That's what it takes for us to get a break go our way. So um, if I had to say, you know, who who gets the lemons, who do we have to be concerned about, who concerns us? Well, I, again, it was the coaching. I'm not going to repeat myself. I don't think there's any, you know, Zach Thomas struggled, but he's a backup left tackle, and they did not help him. Uh, what do you expect? They have some really good pass rushers over there. And again, bizarre that the Rams didn't figure out a way to help him out. Where does that leave the Rams? They're one and two. Uh, and if you had told me before the season started they were going to be one and two heading to Indianapolis, I would be, I probably would have been okay with that. But it's frustrating that they're one and two after seeing uh, how they approach this game on offense and uh, how things went sideways over the course of this game. Started out really well, had a really good feeling. <laughs> For the first few minutes and um, then the play calling and the Rams, some of the Ram things the Rams did on offense really frustrated me. So we head to Indianapolis, need a win real bad, and I think we're going to get one. Uh, so if you're listening on the podcast, I will be back in a minute with some more uh, notes on this game, on the coaching, the refing. Uh, fearsome four big plays of the game. I'll review my four keys to victory for the Rams. Back in a minute with all that. Thanks a lot. 